Okay, C, Lindelof videos, adding and subtracting polynomials. This also would work for gathering like terms. I'm using a, um, a worksheet that I got of CUDA software, um, Dot com. So I'm just going to practice it. It's super easy, I, but I did want to show it to you. The reason that I would use this is just so I could avoid errors. So I'm going to do 5x squared minus 3, close parentheses, and I'm going to add this quantity to the quantity. So I'm going to open this quantity sign up again. 3, I'm sorry, was it 2x squared minus 3x and then if you're going to use cube use a little carrot here you can put cubed remember to use your right cursor to get outside of that and I'm just going to hit enter and hopefully we're going to get look 5x squared plus 2x squared should be 7x squared right so let's see what we get and there it is negative 3x cubed plus 7x and it did gather all those like terms I, you're probably sitting there going this is the stupidest thing I ever saw yeah, but it's that quick and that easy, and it's going to help you overcome unforced errors. So let's do one more that has to do with subtracting two polynomials. So I'm going to open my parentheses, and I'm going to put in uh, 4x cubed, right? I use this little key right here to put the cubed in. I'm going to use my right cursor to get down from there, plus 3x to the fourth, carrot here to the fourth, Look, I'm going to use the right cursor to get outside the parentheses, and then I'm going to subtract. And remember, this is kind of an opposite sign. So I'm going to open parentheses again, and I'm going to put x to the fourth minus 5x. Whoa, see exactly what I was talking about. See what I did there? So I'm going to go back and be a little bit more careful. I'm using my right cursor, and it comes down from there. Minus 5x caret cubed. It already puts closes the parentheses for you. If you worry about it, you can get out of there like this. But look, hit enter, and it does all of that work for you. So not beating this to death. I'm not going to do 1,500 examples, but I did want you to see this because, hell, why not? Remember that most mistakes that happen in algebra, uh, intermediate algebra or above, and almost all of the mistakes that happen in calculus, if you know anything about that math, is caught up in the algebra. So this is just a way to kind of, you can grind through your math, but this is at, at minimum a way to make sure that you did it the way you meant to. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do.